and I really do love this type of game. Uh, I hate to admit it. I blame you for my love of the genre. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like, so here's the thing, and I guess we're already starting a new episode, sure. and this will probably be uh, whatever, but um, my, my, my issue with these types of games is that they are extremely fun. I will not deny that one bit. Uh-huh. Uh, my problem with them is that, and it blew up into nothing. Oh, it blew into rubber. And some, uh. Electrical tape. Oh, it's a metal. Uh, they are extremely addictive. Yep. And you end up doing a whole lot of nothing to get, like, a small bit of something. And then yeah. it's like, well, you did your thing. Now you got to wait. Kind of kind of dealio, you know? Crap imposed by the developers. Actually, some crap imposed by the devs. Wonderful. Uh, but, yeah, like, my, my thing is, is uh, I love these types of games. It's just that they are time sinks. Yep. Yeah. Huge wonderful mm. I cannot name my coordinates but there's debris here to the left I think she's in there uh so the kind of big thing that you're supposed to get through and I think she's <gasps> I think she's sort of intended to be like the the, the carrot on the end of the stick uh-huh um because she wants you to get to the other side of the radiation field. Uh-huh. Which is where you have to go. Like everything you do now in this at the, from this point forward in the game, essentially trying to get you past the radiation field. <laughs> you know what's funny? Huh. That's kind of what you do in Subnautica. Yeah. Like the big thing in Subnautica is to get past the radiation. Well, and the funny part is, is the radiation in Subnautica is actually realistically a very, very early part of the game. It is. Uh, which is uh, super when you go out, turn around and go down around and go, yeah, down. go down there go, yeah go down to that see where like the little gas puff is oh so this is you're gonna have to make a couple trips down here because there's a door you have to smash through um to get to that gas puff yeah but it teaches you a pretty valuable thing mm-hmm. which is uh basically remote oxygen stations so you have to start bashing that door but it as you can see uh, uh alt uh, stabilizes your your movement yeah but it's hard to smash through click click oh god i'm gonna die aren't i uh, i think i'm gonna die maybe yep i'm gonna die you you've got a lot of health you could you might be able to make it i'm gonna die no you're fine i'm gonna die you're gonna make it. I need ice. Well, I need should, ice. You should probably probably go inside your thing. Probably. But you know. Yeah. Whatever. What I don't know in this game, uh -huh. and, and again, I haven't actually played that much of it yet myself. Uh huh. So I don't know if there's it like other enemies and stuff like that. Uh Drinky, drinky. This is one of those, it's an early access game uh -huh. um, that I really want to see get finished. This is, this is like. Subnautica 2? Subna yeah, Subnautica 2, basically. Give my accent, humanity fly all over galaxy, but never make a good translator. Are you saving me? I, I, you know what? I have a feeling that that's just an alien. Oh, probably. I have a feeling that it's not like violent alien. But it's like an alien species that humanity works with. And it's just that the camera is actually it's on its face, but its face looks like a pair of boobs. Now, the nice thing is this room fills your oxygen up. Ah. So when we gather electricity. Oh. Uh, and there's some cables down there, too, if you want to grab them. Ah. But that's Ooh. what you really want. Broken oxygen station. Uh, 
So what? I just disassembled it. It unlocks it? a. It just unlocked a blueprint for you. So now oh, you can. So build we those. broke it. Yes. To learn to make it. Yep. Ugh! I need shears. Well, the wire's right there. Okay. Good. 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 But yeah, you can't get the rubber without the shears. Ugh. So. I can take you to some to where you can some easy access scissors, if you would like. Guide me. All right. You're gonna go out, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna keep going down. Okay. You're gonna see a bunch of wreckage that's pink. So look down. Yeah. Probably turn around to the. Uh, should be on the other side of this rock somewhere. Where are you? Where are you, you bastard? It's like directly below your shuttle. So my shuttle, shuttle was there. Is it maybe up more from where you are? Try going up more. Like head back, head back towards your shuttle. Oh, but there's oh, so there's, many things. There is. There's a ton of stuff down there. What is this? I know. I know. You're gonna get. Ah, I gotta learn how to stabilize better. Yeah, I actually didn't know that you could stabilize. So when I first started playing this, I was just like. Floating all over Whoa, the place. Oh, what is an oxygen candle? I don't know. You know what? Oh my oh, god! Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's what an oxygen. And now you can now you can make those. Ooh, electrical tape. Oh. Oh shit! This is really useful. Oh. This is like a mother load down here. Grab everything. Oh, and a light bulb. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you do with the light bulb. I don't know but. either. But I think you make light with it though. Ooh. And Cheers. scissors. And, and a condom. Some, and a condom. Oh, God, stop it. Oh, give me give me O2. R2, huh. O2. I'll have to remember to come back here, because this is a... That is fucking... Baby, baby, stop talking, please. Baby, shut up. I, I, I am a man, and I am failing at everything. It is what we do. But I am just too pig-headed to listen to you right now. So uh, just give me a moment to fail a little bit. But, uh... Hey, there's a condom here. Yes, there is. Is that what that really is? Yes, that actually is a condom. Oh. I don't know if you can, uh... Hey, hey, hey. I think you, if you touch the condom, like if you examine it, you learn some, the craft something. Oxygen balloon. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, it is. It is big. I don't know who would use such a thing. What's that's a, a condom that big? Like, th there is, there is no possible way that a person. Could fit in that thing. You should be careful. Your health and oxygen are both very low. Yeah, I'm making my way back to the ship. I'm going to take a nap. Because I got some ice. I got a whole bunch of nutritious goo. Uh, I have a dead person here who's yep. hanging out with me. Uh, we're, oh, wait. No, no. Stop. Don't waste the ice. Yeah. <sighs> Give me. You don't oh. have as much ice as you thought. <laughs> I don't. Apparently that's just fabric. Yep. Go to uh, go to your equipment real quick. Mm-hmm. Or go back to the crafting. Okie dokie. I want to see what does. Wait. Uh, go back to equipment. Uh, I want to see what it takes to make the oxygen balloon. The condom, wire, One. plastic times two, and uh, thick electrical tape. Oh, and that increases my oxygen reserves. Ooh, that's useful. That's extremely useful. Yeah, I can make a roll of fabric. All right. I don't know if I should, but uh, what did I you can need do for it. the balloon? Huh? What did you need for the balloon? Um, what? The oh, oxygen the balloon. balloon. Oh, the oxygen balloon. Yeah. Uh, I need plastic. Two things times of plastic. Two. Yeah. How the fuck do you get plastic? I don't know. I imagine that. Oh, I know where to get it. We can make the crap proposed by the developers. What if I make it? Well, then you then you advance the quest. Um. All right, we'll do it. What do you got for us, devs? Whoa! 
Reach maximum level 99 in game. Receive the title of the great creator. You can hit yourself in the head or you can install I it. I made a penis. Yep. That's a penis. Oh, oh, you're hurting yourself. <gasps> install it. Install your penis. That that's not where I wanted to install it. I thought that it was actually like ahead of me. So uh Oh. Oh, did it bug out? I can't use it again. I have big bust and slender legs. I wanted to know. I wanted you to know and motivate to save me. You are dead. <laughs> oh, no, comrade. Concussion. The boobs and slender legs. Load? Did we ever save? I don't think so. Sweet. I think I just broke the game. Because it's, uh, yep. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Oh, well, no. everybody, I think we're done. Well, this was a fun adventure. It's been exciting. That's for sure. If, uh, if you're interested, in it, it's it's Breath Edge. It's, pre it's pretty fun. Yeah. It's still very early. But uh, I like it. I mean, it's definitely. It's, it's got something there. It there, There's a lot of charm. Yeah, There's for a sure. lot of, uh, like. It, it reminds me of like some mixture between uh, Subnautica, Subnautica and Fallout. Um, it's got a very Fallout kind of feel to it. See, to me, it has more of a like Fallout turn, uh, like uh, adrift. A little bit. Like I feel like this is very Adriftian type of a game where you're like in space yeah. and your well, job is to kind of to like, me like the humor feels fallout uh like right because like you know when you go in you've got the like old-timey music playing and yeah. like the, the instructional video remind me a lot of like the videos you see in fallout with yeah, the I fallout boy okay yeah uh it's very fallout then uh in that kind of like humor yeah like it's very like i, I wouldn't want to i, I, I want to say tongue-in-cheek but it's it's not so tongue in cheek. It's, it's goofy, you it's know. Goofy, yeah. Th things like this, like the debugger, is something that you use to hit it, right? Like that, that kind of thing is. Yeah. No, I get that. that yeah. Uh, but definitely a game worth like picking up. Yeah. Uh, especially when it comes out in like in its right. life. And it's only fifteen dollars right now. Like, that's one of those. This is. This is where I feel like you know what I've seen enough of this game to think that this game looks cool and it looks fun. Yeah, I can easily get fifteen dollars worth of entertainment out of this, and to me, it's an investment into making this game happen. And uh, that's what yeah. I like. Yeah, uh, that's that's a that's an interesting um, way of looking at it too, because like I have a coworker. Uh, well, I don't know if I should call him a coworker anymore because. Uh oh. I don't know. Um, but it it definitely is a game that like if you don't help the devs by buying it. Mm hmm. Uh, this game will most definitely never happen. Uh, yeah. Because, like... I mean, sometimes they still happen, but yeah, like, it's one of those... Well, it's, it's a lot more likely to occur if if you support the game and, and help get it out. Yeah, but it's also, like, the difference between getting the game to come out and actually getting the game that they want to give you. Right, yeah. Like, I think, like... Some Nautica is a really good example of, you know, a game that uh, it was made way better because people put in effort and like got on board with it and really fell in love with the game. Yeah. Uh, the the love that the, the community gave for that game yeah. uh, definitely helped to make it make it a reality to make it as good as it became. Right. Because. Uh, I remember when we first started playing and, um, this is definitely kind of like boiling over and we're going to have to end it soon. Yep. Uh, like when I first played, I was like, you know what? Like in the state it is now, I could definitely see this being like a $15 game. It right. It was definitely good. It was worth playing and it wasn't something that I'd feel like I was ripped off. But by the time the game came out and after all the love and all the things that they gave into it and Holy crap, you had a beard at a young age. Yep. Also, that's a little kid. Yep. Meme. Uh, but yeah, no, the the love that the community gave, all the people who supported it in its uh, dev cycle, 
uh, it definitely helped make it freaking amazing uh, and make it the, the like the what it's like fifty dollars now or something like that. I'm actually not sure. I have to double check. I yeah. don't even know if it actually jumped up that far in price. Yeah, it might I, not actually be that high in price. I don't remember, but either way, uh, thank you everybody for watching us play. Uh, grab this game if you liked it. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye, Bye. everyone.